The Dick Cheney Presidency, a look back. July 21st, 2007, 716 AM. Before being sedated for a colonoscopy, President Bush invokes the 25th Amendment. For the next two hours, Dick Cheney will be the acting president of the United States and leader of the free world. Acting President Cheney announces plans to launch a full-scale nuclear attack on North Korea. With a hearty laugh, he adds, just kidding. A New York Times editorial calls for impeachment, and acting President Cheney's honeymoon with the press is over. Acting President Cheney calls North Korea's Kim Jong-il and says, actually, I wasn't kidding about nuking you guys. Cheney announces that Halliburton will be rebuilding war-torn Iran. Then he quickly adds, oops, did I say Iran? I mean, uh, Iraq. Yeah, Iraq. Acting President Cheney heads to Camp David for a much-needed rest. Refreshed, Cheney returns to the White House and opens the Arctic National Wildlife Preserve to oil exploration. Acting President Cheney signs an executive order issuing a blanket go yourself to Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid. The White House press corps now refer to the acting president as lame duck Cheney. With less than a minute left in office, acting President Cheney pardons Phil Spector, saying, hey, anybody can have a gun accident. 9.21 a.m., President Bush returns. Former acting President Cheney retreats to an undisclosed location to contemplate his legacy.